everyone. So today we're going to continue on our lesson about what's in your omelette. So what is omelette? Uh, so let's get to know what is omelette and what you want your omelette to be. Alright, so these are the lesson outlines. Firstly, you have to open your student's book, page 56. You have to read the story, understand the story, watch the video and complete the task. Alright, so when you open your book, page 56, you will see this one. Okay, so let's read the new vocab on top of the page. Omelette. Alright, omelette ni macam telur dada, tapi we can put some uh, fillings ataupun kita boleh isi topping apa-apa yang kita nak. Alright, okay. Peas, kacang peas, pancake, lempeng, pineapple, peppers. Peppers ni bukan kertas ataupun bukan lada hitam. Peppers ni adalah capsicum. Okay, lada benggala. Alright, and coconut. Coconut ni takkan tak tahu. What is coconut? Kelapa. Alright, so let's read the story together. Mmm, I love my omelette. There's some cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? No, there isn't. Alright. There are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? No, there aren't. There isn't any cheese and there aren't any peppers in my omelette. But thus there are some peas, onions, and pineapple. Yuck! And for dessert, coconut pancakes. Yummy! Alright, so let's look at picture number one. Alright, um, I love my omelette. Saya suka sangat omelette saya. Okay, there's some cheese. I the cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? Ada tak cheese dalam omelette awak, Greg? So, Greg kata, no, there isn't. Alright, lepas tu dia tanya, are there any peppers? And there, there are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? So, dia kata dalam saya punya... Omelet ni ada juga lah, ada benggala. Dalam awak punya ada ke? So, dia kata, no, there aren't. Tak ada juga. So, Anna kata, there isn't any cheese. Tak ada cheese. And there aren't any peppers. Tak ada peppers. And my omelet, eh, sorry. And Greg kata, there isn't any cheese. Greg kata, tak ada cheese dalam saya punya omelet. Dan tak ada juga lah, ada benggala in my omelet. But there are some peas. Ada kacang peas, ada onions, onions, bawang, and pineapple. Dan juga nanas. Yuck! Anna kata, eee. Okay, sebab dalam Anna punya tak ada. Dalam grape punya ada. So, ayah ayah dia pun cakap. And for dessert, coconut pancakes. Ayah dia buat lempeng kelapa untuk dessert pencuci. Mulut. Lepas tu dia kata yummy. Sedapnya. Okay. So, ada dua jenis omelette. Omelette Anna and also omelette Grey. Tapi dalam omelette Anna ada peppers and also cheese. Ada keju dengan uh, lada benggala tadi. Alright. Tapi dalam Grey punya pancake. Uh, Omelet tak ada dua tu. Alright, dalam Greg punya omelet, dia ada onion, bawang, ada pineapple, nanas, and also peas, kacang, peas. Okay, dua omelet yang berbeza. Tapi dia punya basic dia samalah telur. Okay, telur dia letak-letak-letak, lepas tu dia gulung-gulung-gulung macam tu. Alright, so. And uh, for dessert, ayah dia buat lempeng kelapa. Okay, so I hope you understand the story. So let's watch the video. Wait, I need to find the video first. Mm, I love 
love my omelette. There's some cheese in my omelette. Is there any cheese in your omelette, Greg? No, there isn't. There are some peppers in my omelette too. Are there any peppers in your omelette, Greg? No, there aren't. There isn't any cheese, and there aren't any peppers in my omelette. But there are some peas, onions, and pineapple. Yuck! And for dessert, coconut pancakes. Yummy! Okay, so I hope you understand the story. So for today's task, I need you to answer these questions. All right, you have to. You already understand the story, right? So what you have to do is, you have to answer whether yes or no. But, all right, you have to know whether the ingredient is countable or uncountable now. Okay, for example, Anna's omelette over here. Mm, cheese. Okay, is there any cheese in Anna's omelette? Cheese, they're uncountable nouns. So, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, are there any onions in Anna's omelette? Alright, no. Ada onion ke tak ada? Dalam Greg punya ada. Dalam Anna punya tak ada. So, no. Bila no, there aren't. Kenapa aren't? Sebab onion ni, dia plural. Dia dalam countable nouns. Bila countable nouns, dia boleh dikira. So, dia jadi lebih daripada satu. Bila lebih daripada satu, kita guna Aren lah, tak boleh guna isn't sebab dia lebih daripada satu onions kan? Okay. Uh, let me give you some more examples. Okay, let's answer this one. Okay, are there any peppers in Anna's omelette? Ada tak peppers? Tak ada kan? Ah, tak ada lah ada penggala dalam Anna punya uh, omelette tak ada. So, no. No apa? No, there. Peppers tu countable ke uncountable nouns? Countable nouns kan? Bila countable nouns, dia ada S. No, there. Aren. Okay. No, they aren't. Sebab tak ada peppers dalam Anna punya omelette. Okay. So, is there any coconut in Anna's omelette? Ada coconut ke? Tak ada, right? So, bila tak ada coconut tu Nampak dia ada S tak belakang dia. So, dia tak ada S kan? Dia tak ada coconuts. Dia coconut je. Bila dia coconut je, dia tak ada S belakang dia. Maknanya dia singular. Ataupun dia uh, uncountable nouns. Ada antara dua tu je lah. Tapi bila dia tak ada S, dia singular lah. Bila singular bukan RN. RN ni kita guna untuk plural form. Bila dia singular, no, there. Is it? Okay, kita kena tengok sama ada belakang wording tu ada S ke tidak. Okay, let, let's look at another example over here. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Yes, there is. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, this one. Number five. Are there any onions in Greg's omelette? Ada onion tak dalam omelette Greg? Yes. There. Is or are? Bila dia ada onions. Bila onions lebih daripada satu. Yes. There are. Okay. Let me clear you out. Mm. 
Okay, this one. Onions. Bila dia ada S kat situ. Nampak ni S. Okay, dia boleh dikira. Depan. Eh, white. Sorry. Pen. Pen color. Okay, bila ada S ni. Allah, ni dia highlight tu pula. Okay, bila dia ada S kat sini Lalu tak jadi highlighter Bila dia S, dia jadi plural So yes, they are Kalau dia yes, yes, they are Kalau no, no, they aren't Okay, tapi bila dia is Yes, there is Ataupun no, there isn't So, kita tengok dekat ingredient tu ada S ke tak ada S? Okay, bila dia tak ada S, pilihan jawapan dia ada dua. Sama ada tak ada S ni, yes there is ataupun no there isn't. Bila ada S, sama ada yes there are ataupun no there aren't. Okay? So, I hope that is it. And I hope you understand and that's it for today's lesson. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.